Hey everybody, Matumbo here. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are playing some more Historic here on Magic Arena. And today we have a really fun looking deck for you. Um, not really too sure how it's going to go. Um, this was uh, initially made by another content creator. So uh, we'll get to that too as soon as we uh, you know, hop right into the deck. So uh, before we do that, just as always, uh, if you enjoy the deck and the video, please hit that subscribe button, that like button. Check out all the cool links down below. And let me know down in the comments below what you want to see in a future video, and we'll do our best to make that. So with that being said, let's hop right into this deck. And this is just, uh, we're calling No Land Citadel. So uh, this deck was originally um, brought to us, I believe, by Mono Black Magic. Uh, he has a really cool channel. He does a lot of just crazy builds. Um, but, um, you know, and he's, been, he's been doing really great content creation for a long time. Um, you know, he doesn't need my tiny little channel shouting him out, but again, since we pulled this deck from him, obviously we do want to give him credit. So again, mono black magic, uh, go check him out. Uh, and it's seriously just as simple as searching for mono black magic on YouTube. Yeah, go do that. So this deck really is a bolus of Citadel deck. So bolus of Citadel six mana artifact. You can look at the top card of your library at any time and you can play lands and cast spells from the top of your library. Uh, if you do cast a spell this way, you actually have to pay life equal to its mana cost rather than pay its uh, mana cost itself. So you're paying life for spells instead of you're paying life instead of mana. So you we can use our life as a resource. And yeah, and again, we're we're playing no lands because Citadel, we don't want to keep hitting lands back to back to back and then just not being able to combo and, you know, keep playing cards. So we want to be able to cast as many cards off the top of our deck as we can. So we are playing, instead of lands, we are playing the double-faced cards, so the modal cards that are one side land, one side spell. So, you know, we have like the Vastwood Fortification, Taps for Green, we have the Tanglewood Floral Hedron. Uh, again, this is either a Mana Dork on one side, uh, which could be good in itself, or it just Taps for Green on the other side. We also have some Skyclave Clerics. Um, so these are gonna be good later on. This, th these do tap for white, but however, um, when we're going to start comboing off with the Citadel in play, these cost two life to play because they cost two mana, but then they also give us two life back. So these are just going to replace themselves. So they're just going to let us dig and dig and dig further through our deck. We have four copies of Balagid recovery, uh, recovery. Again, we can bring back cards from our graveyard. And then these also tap for green. And then we have a couple copies of uh, Hagra Mauling. It's creature removal. It taps for black mana. And then one of our win conditions is going to be Zoff Consumption. So this is a six mana spell. So it is going to cost us six life if we cast it off the uh, Citadel. Um, but we are going to get four of that back because it says each opponent loses four life and you gain four life. So again, um, yeah, we do we do lose a net, you know, a negative two here. Uh, but again, it's going to help us, you know, just win the game because we're going to be whittling them down, whittling them down, whittling them down. But uh, on top of that, we are going to be able to really go through our deck if we hit some of our big cards. Uh, one of them being plain white, uh, plain white celebration. So we can pay seven life for this, but then we can gain four life four times. So we'd be netting uh, nine life by casting this, and then that'd be just extra cards that we could be digging through our deck. So notably, we do want to be doing this as much as possible. We also have revival revenge. This is going to be great again because we can double our life total, and then our opponent loses half their life. So not only is it going to give us more life to cast more cards it's also going to make our opponent get closer and closer to death uh, by just having their life total so if we're at if we're at 20 we pay six life to cast this we go down to 14 and then we go up to 20 so yeah again it's, it may may not be good as plain white celebration technically um, but if we cast multiples multiples of these in a row they obviously get better and better um, and just going to give us more and more cards um, and one of the mod modifications we actually made to this deck was because of the Revival Revenge, we are going to be playing one Veto. Uh, Veto is just going to give us the ability to potentially just win the game in one turn um, and not by doing our crazy combo. We could just hit Veto, play, have Veto in play. Whenever you gain that much life, target player loses that much life. We could just hit, Then we could just hit them for, for 16. Or we could just half their life. So if we're both at 20, um, they lose 10 because their life gets halved and then we gain 14 and then so they lose another 14 because we gain 14 and then they're just dead at that point so that is also what we are trying to do in this deck 
So other than that, we're just going to have a ton of mana ramp. We have four Gilded Goose. We have four Llanowar Elves. We have four Paradise Druids. We have three Chromatic Lanterns, again, because we um, we do need the mana. This is Mana Acceleration. Again, we have four Oath of Kaya's. Uh, Oath of Kaya is going to cost us three life, but it's going to gain us three life at the same time and deal three damage. So this is a really good when it's basically free. And then Gift of Paradise is also going to replace itself because it costs three life, but then it's also going to gain us three life. So again, just cards that let you dig and dig and dig and dig and dig. And last but not least, we do have Karn, the great creator. So we got a ton of cards on the sideboard. Like we have one copy of Chromatic Lantern. We have a copy of Bolas the Citadel. We have a bunch of other artifacts that are just going to interact with the game. Hopefully just get us there. And yeah, and like I said, no land because we have plenty of lands that come into play uh, on the other sides of their cards. And that is what we're going to do to hopefully ramp out. But the only, I do need to point out, you know, the awkward thing about playing a deck like this is we're going to be playing a turn behind because we can't go turn one land or elf. Uh, we have to go like turn one, um, Vastwood Thicket comes into play tapped. Then the next turn we play another tap land, but then we get to play a land or elf. So then at that point, I feel like it's going to actually just start spiraling and we'll be able to ramp ramp. And then we'll have a hopefully Bolus of Citadel on like turn four. Um, maybe turn five, but it should still be a little bit faster than just casting it on turn six. So, but it does, again, we do play a turn behind, so uh, aggressive decks will be a problem with this, especially especially with lack of, you know, real good removal. But yeah, so let's hop into the gameplay and see how we do. So, see you at the wrap-up. All right, well, <clears throat> we're going to see if no land is really viable. I don't think it is. We get to go first. We only have two land. We're going to keep. On a red. Why? Why, why, why? Yep. You get to attack. Get to light up the stage. This is going to be a hard matchup. So we have to lead out with this. This actually lets us start Oath of Kaying. Um, I mean, that's gonna that's gonna get killed. So that's the good thing about this, I guess, is the light at the stage here. Nope, just skewer the critics. Okay. Let's gain some of this life back. They're playing a lot of card draw, which is pretty good for them. What the heck is this thing? So. Okay, we are up to 11. Good news. Down to seven. We're going to gain one, two. We're actually not going to be able to do it this turn. Oh, Lord. So we can double, go to ten. This comes down. If we go to 10, we die because they have the uh, fights. Could just go for it. I don't feel like there's anything in our deck that actually just nets us life, right? Um...
Block, block. We put this down, this blocks. This blocks. We go to one if they don't draw a burn spell. Right? We still lose, though, because we're at... We just literally just bought us one turn, assuming they don't... We're absolutely dead here. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we're still going to lose to... It's unfortunate, right? Good game. Nobody makes us bleed our own blood. Nobody. Yeah, I don't think there's a way out there. We just needed that seventh land to be able to gain 16 life. And we just were not able to get there. So it's a tough way to start a video. All right. Let's do it. Let's get this instant opponent. Instant. Now, hey, whoa, come on. All right, let's. I think we have to keep this, right? We have a little bit of ramp. A lot. I want to play this in turn one. Come on. What is your deck? What kind of weird Grixis. Mind stone, and they get all of the all of the ramp over there. I'm afraid for so they could blast on us for one. We're going to get him pretty good, though, when we play our own Karn. I wonder what they get here. What do they get? Oh, well... Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get him pretty good here. So we just turned off a lot of their deck. Um, unfortunately, Yeah, unfortunately, we're in a little bit of a better position than they are. They could Blast Zone and, and make us lose two mana, which is essentially the same as what they're losing right now. So... They are not going to... Um, we are going to auto pay here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go grab our Bolas of Citadel. And, um, you know what? Yep. I think it is beneficial to have as much land in play as possible. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was tough for tough for them. 
really good. We actually shut down a deck just by playing a Karn. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So we are halfway to our win goal of what I thought we would get in this deck. And, and I feel like two wins is probably pushing it. But, you know, again, you never know. You never know. Maybe we go against artifacts all the artifact decks all day long and we keep drawing Karn against them. I mean, if that's the plan, and I feel like we actually stand a chance. But if it's not the plan, we drew all the Balagids. We have to keep this. This is so weird keeping keeping hands like this. Don't be a mountain. Oh my gosh, there's gonna be another color. Oh my god, are we kidding me? I was only joking about the colorless decks, but if you want to keep putting them there. All right, what two mana? What two mana you got? You got a Mind Stone. You got a Maze Mind Tone. All right. All right. A great draw, actually. Is this the instant? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, Forsaken. Oh, Karn. Oh, holy. I mean, yeah, they might just be able to gain enough life to prevent us from doing anything. I mean, what can you do here in response? Hello? I mean, all you can do is tap for a colorless mana. We're going to block with this land or elf. And then we're going to try. Come on, go digging. Don't attack. Don't attack. Th feel like you have to protect Karn. Oh no. Are they going to draw? Yep. Okay. Forgot that that became a 4-4. Be gentle. Oh, be gentle. All right. Come on, deck. Can't do anything with our art of their artifacts now, so they're useless. I am not frightened by you. I think we just have to get this just in case. We need to hit one of our big payoffs. If we don't hit one of our big payoffs, then then we're just uh, going to be SOL. OK. 
Okay, I mean, we're... I wouldn't say... I wouldn't call this stabilizing. I think we have to play this as is. Have to play this as a land now. Oh man. <laughs> of course. Of course, there we are with that. The good news is the good news is we survive, hopefully. They can't draw cards. Yeah, Karn prevents that. Can't draw a card, you can't draw two cards. Gentle. Be gentle. Yeah, we're not going to just pump up these. Oh, no attack. So they are prevent they are protecting uh okay. So we're going to do this. Actually. This gives us 10. This puts us up to 10. This puts us up to 21. There we go. There we go. Come on, deck. Let's do it. Let's get it. Let's do it. Come on. So... I really just don't want to sack everything yet, right? Do we do we have to here? One, two. One, two. Is it other? Okay, so one, two, three. No, if we have we can't sack this though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One. Oh no, then we we can't sack that. Ten. Yeah, we're going to keep this new one. We are on the way. Again, I said if we if we kept playing artifact decks, we were going to be golden. And I did not expect to play a bunch of artifact decks in a row. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, followed up by with this. That is the GG's. 
That is the GG. Ooh, and we ended up at exactly 20. Uh, flawless victory. Nice. Nice, nice. All right. So, yeah. I mean, we, we said if uh, we play artifact decks over and over again, we can win. So far, that is true. Oh, man, this person's like a... I ranked mythic. Holy moly. Um hmm. So you know they're playing a you know they're playing a meta deck. You know they're playing a meta deck, and probably just in here testing out their their newest one. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep. Oh yeah, okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Maybe this is like an old fires deck. Old fires. <laughs> what you got? What you got? What? You... Um, I think we're gonna play this instead of the elf. I'd rather this gets shocked first. Here comes the stomp. Oh, fire prophecy. Okay. What are they? What are they playing? Right? It's like. You know what they're probably playing? They're probably... They're probably just playing Neo Storm, but with Fire Prophecy. Yep, that's exactly what they're playing. All right, well, here it comes. We draw Citadel, we have a chance. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so bad. I mean, yeah, it's going to do this. Please don't have a counter. Wow. Wow. Packed into... Oh my god, we just got packed and negationed. Ooh! I don't like that. I don't like packed and negation. It's pretty unfortunate. I guess it really doesn't matter. I mean, we're going to kill this rubble fort. Three. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Yep, yeah, they finally drew theirs. Oh, they did not. They definitely would have gone for the win there had they had it. All right, well, come on. Oh, come on, deck. I mean, we're 
we're gonna we're gonna try this, right? Four, five, six, seven. Do we play this? I don't think it's worth it to play it. Anything to the bottom is good. I mean, we're just going to go for it, right? We have to. And do you have another one? Wow, they do have another one. Holy smokes. Well, I mean, they got to pay five. They're going to be tapped down. They just get in. Oh, that's lucky. That's lucky. We're at six. Oh, I mean, we block, right? Um, this gains us four. This is fairly even. The fact that we got pack negation twice is is pretty unfortunate. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely, we're definitely going in. Oh, I think they have another counter. Do they have another counter spell? They don't. Okay. All right, they did not have another one. Oh, they're digging, they're digging. Okay. They're really digging, okay. So we can put them to five this turn. That was a good draw. We just have not drawn a citadel. They have scried so many cards to the bottom. Oh. Did you do it? Did you finally do it? Oh, man. They might not be able to kill us here because we killed their haster. We're gonna make him do it. Ah, uh, they had another one. Yep. 
And we have a person in Mythic playing a, com a very competitive deck. Like, okay, all right. I hope I hope you enjoyed playing your ultra competitive deck uh, as being a high ranked Mythic against somebody who is not. But you know, it is unfortunate that they had another. One. It is unfortunate. A lot of these decks only actually play one. Oh well. Good game. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little salty after that loss just because of the fact that, again, you have, the, you have a person who is super highly ranked in Mythic and they're playing their deck that obviously got them all the way to Mythic in competitive or in, in free play. And we were doing really good, like fending them off too. Really good. All right, we're going to keep. I wish we could go first. I actually should have mulliganed this hand. I don't think these two plain white celebrations are good in our hand. They're better in our deck. Better in our deck. So we get to um, I want to put it on the green source because that way if we draw we have three sources of black now if we draw our citadel I feel like this is a chromatic black deck yeah this this feels very much like a chromatic So I feel like I feel like we're probably about to get wiped here. Hopefully it's not Massacre Worm. Okay, so we So they're going to What is this? Oh. I mean that just completely shuts us down, right? I guess it doesn't. I guess it doesn't. If he attacks with a Solemn, we're going to block with the Goose. Uh, because the goose is gonna die anyway. Why doesn't the Paradise Druid have a mana cost on its card? Oh, I guess they all don't. I'm just very used to the visual glitches that are going on. So that was an unfortunate draw. So this is a one. All right, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. You know what? Yeah, I think we're going to get that back. That was a great draw. Do we want to deal... Do we want to kill something? Yeah, unfortunately we have to do this.
Hmm. Now oh, we just drew another one. Okay. This is a land. Let's have summoning sickness. Oh, they're just gonna scoop it up. They see the writing on the wall, but however, we probably couldn't win that turn. We probably actually had to wait until the turn after that. Um, Cause yeah, we were gonna be able to, we just needed to hit them for three more. So I wish we could actually look at the top three cards. Or yeah, okay. Well, we're three and two right now. I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty, pretty happy with that. This is just such a weird deck to play. This is... Ooh, the War Monkey. What's the best kind of monkey to go into war, though? Oh, we actually get to go first. Yeah, we're going to keep this. Get to play an elf on turn two. Yeah, we're excited about elf on turn two. Oh, can't be block deck. Can't be block deck. Um. You got it. These aren't wizards, right? Gonna play all of the Slither Blade. What's better? I guess gaining that life, right? One drop blue? How many curious obsessions you got? Oh my god. All of them. That is so that is so stupid. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh man. So I th think so we're gonna do this, right? We can play the Citadel next turn, but if we kill this now, it looks like, or it, it might force our opponent to actually start playing more permanents. I mean, I want them to play more than just three curiosities and, you know. Like, play some big creature here. Of course not. Of course not. I'm going to attack here. I think they have a merfolk. Right? They probably have some kind of blow. No? Maybe we're just supposed to go for it. Oh my god. This is this is seriously the most ridiculous 
the most ridiculous game I've ever I've ever been a part of. I'm not gonna lie though, I do like the addition of Slither Blade. Just cast stuff. Just be like, you know what, we're gonna win. Well, we're going for it. We could pay two. Auto pay. Wow. A six to half them. Sure. I mean, we're dead. Can't do anything. Literally nothing we could have gotten there. We could have got the artifact that gains us three life, but really is irrelevant. Really is irrelevant. Oh well. Final final boss, here we come. So this is for all the marbles. All the marbles in the game. We need to go first, though. Just one time, please. Zero times. Oh, we got a mulligan there. Okay. We're keeping. Our deck. What is this? Mardu? A Mardu Knight's deck? Oh, it's a Mardu Aristocrat's deck. I'm fine with that. We'll let him have an, We'll have him have a point of damage here, and then we'll play this. Um, play this. So we can make a treasure. We can get to play Bolas' Citadel next turn. Before I was seeing if we could do, seeing if we could do multiples. Oh, this is awkward. But yeah, so I, I don't think we're going to just try to go off here. We know that they're stuck on mana, so... Pretty good draw, right? Let's do it. 
Wow. Wow. We did not necessarily draw up the final victory like that, but I'm actually glad we actually decided to take a step back and not just try to go off that turn by going Citadel into Citadel. Ooh. Okay. No complaints there. Get wrecked. But no. Good game. Sorry you got mana screwed. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the wrap-up. And we did all right. We did better than we thought we were going to do. We went four and three. Um, we actually got to pull off our secondary combo with the Veto and the Revival uh, in order to kill them in uh, that very last game in the final boss. So that was kind of cool to see, see that happen. Um, one game our opponent conceded once we started actually, like, starting casting a bunch of cards. I don't actually think we were going to win that game. Uh, it is possible that we would have won that game, but they scoot before we can really um, do a lot of crazy things. I mean, we did cast a lot of spells that turn, but we were starting to get low on life, and they just gave it to us. And then we destroyed those two monocolor decks. The uh, Well, not monocolor, but we destroyed the two artifact decks. So actually, the colorless decks. Uh, Karn is good against artifacts. You know, even though they had a Karn in play, we played a Karn, we shut off their artifacts, they had a ton of artifacts. Um, yeah. So that was really cool to see. Uh, but overall, again, this deck is not really competitive. Uh, if I were to make a change to this, I would actually probably stick to, uh, I would actually stick to his plan. He was playing one land in the main deck uh, in his version, in Mono Black Magic's version, but he was playing one swamp. I feel like we would want to play one forest. That way we have a potential to actually play a Llanowar Elf or a Gilded Goose on turn one. Uh, which could really swing the game, uh, swing the games, uh, you know, in our favor a lot, a lot, you know, a lot quicker. But uh, the likelihood of that happening might be lower. But then thinking about it, the way the shuffler works is the shuffler is trying to give us land in best of one. So it might actually be beneficial for us to play one land. That way we will probably get land more often than not. We'll probably just get that one land. But again, there's no way of knowing we didn't do it, so we're not going to go back and try. Uh, but yeah, this deck was this deck was fun. Uh, again, it's not competitive at all. I do not at all recommend crafting this deck um, to play. Uh, if you have the cards, yeah, feel free to throw it together and build it, try it out. Um, but don't go out of your way to craft to craft this deck with wild cards uh, because it's just not good. It's not going to beat a lot of the decks that are out there. You do have to get lucky. Uh, to win a lot of these games um so but yeah that was the deck again fun fun but not so good all right with uh with that being said you know again if you enjoy the channel and the video please hit that subscribe button that like button bell icon share it with your friends check out all the cool links down in the description below uh you know please join the discord like to see everybody we had a bunch of people join the discord today which was pretty cool and then also um Check the Patreon out if you if you feel so inclined, and uh, leave a comment down below letting us know what you want to see in a future video, as that would be amazing for you to interact in any way, uh, any way that you could, just to help the channel out. So, yeah. With that being said, guys, everybody, please stay safe, and we will see you next time. Remember, this channel would not exist without such amazing viewers and subscribers. Thank you so much for interacting with the channel and helping grow the community. And a very big special thank you to the Patreons listed here for supporting the channel.